This is the second video about Python bioinformatics and in this one I'm going to talk about counter-nucleotide frequency in Python. To do so, we'll go through several steps as I showed in a summary outline here. We'll have to have a hypothesis and use a Python method for counting nucleotides We'll also show an example, and I'm going to show the output graphically. And we'll count GC content of a given DNA sequence as well, using that method. To begin with, we have a hypothesis as shown here, as thermophiles tend to have higher GC content. An example is Thermococcus species. The species that, are, that is shown here is Thermococcus urethermalis and we are going to use a DNA sequence from its genome a gene that codes for DUTPase and I show the GenBank ID here which is shown right there so we could use two methods one of them is using a variable that can hold DNA data and setting up other variables that use count method to measure nucleotides this is the easiest one we can also get the output using if statements. Also, we could use other methods using for loops. Today, we are using the first one, which is straightforward and easy to use, as it's shown here. So, this is where we write the Python script. What we've got to do first is to define a variable. So, this is a DNA variable, and it asks for user input. We can tell the user to put DNA sequence or into DNA sequence or just simply paste it below. We could use backslash notation using backslash n which makes a new line. We can also define four other variables that could hold each nucleotide for each variable. So adenine could hold the number of adenines that are there inside the DNA variable. So simply write dna.count open parentheses string adenine and then close parentheses. To make a text become a string simply surrounded by quotation marks in Python. So we do the same for thymine, cytosine and guanine. And that's it. So this is the counting method. It's quite easy. We can show the user the number of adenines shown here just by a print function. So you just write down the number of adenine in your DNA sequence is the adenine variable which contains the number of adenines. We do the same for thymine, guanine and cytosine. Just simply copy and paste that function that we used for the adenine and then use it again for cytosine and guanine. It's quite easy. Then we could use another print function to show the GC content. So simply write print, open parentheses and quotation mark, then write down the GC ratio of your DNA sequence is, and then quotation mark and comma, then open and close parentheses, divided by another open and close parentheses. In the first one, write down G plus C, and then in the second one, G plus C plus T plus A. This is the formula for getting the GC content of a DNA sequence, and this way it tells the user the GC content. You can run the script, now it tells the user to input. This is the DNA sequence from a species. Simply select the DNA sequence and copy and paste it there. This is DTPA's gene in Thermococcus species. To make it a string, you would need to surround it or flank it with quotation marks and then press enter. When you press enter, it gets you the output that we planned to get. And it also tells you the GC ratio, which is roughly 54% in this case. So it's 0.54, which is 54%. And this concludes today's session. Thank you.